Uh, that's what that is. If... There we go. Okay. So um, there we are. So so that's that's just to warn you that you're being uh, recorded. Although there's obviously not much of you there. Um, let's start by sharing my screen with you. And <clears throat> this is the um, one of the hands from last week that I wanted to look at. Um, <clears throat> this was board eight from last Thursday evening. And you can see um, South has got a balanced 24 points. The recommended bidding is two clubs. And North has got 10 points here. So actually, as soon as South opens two clubs, North will be thinking in terms of a, a possible slam here. Now, I think the best bid for North to make with 10 points, but no long suit of their own, is to respond to no Trump. That's a positive reply, and that shows at least eight points, but no long five card or longer suit. And this is actually covered on my bidding sheet and this section on responding to an opening bid of two clubs. Uh, bid zero to seven with, uh, with zero seven bid two diamonds with eight or more, either bid two no Trump or, or your own good five car suit. Yeah, if, if you could um, please um, stop talking, whoever's uh, talking in the background there. Okay. So, so please don't mute yourselves and don't unmute yourselves. Okay, please don't unmute yourselves and talk like that whoever's talking there, all right? So just, um, uh, if you do unmute yourselves to ask a question, please keep the volume to a minimum. Um, okay, so um, as I was saying, uh, responding to two clubs with eight or more points, bid two no trump as a positive bid, or you can bid your own good five card suit, but I wouldn't normally suggest you bid four card suits. Um, normally your partner is, is interested in uh, showing their own suit, but you can make a positive bid. If you bid two no trump, um, probably actually South might go straight to six no trump on this hand, although you could use Blackwood to check on aces, but you suspect that you, you know you're not missing two aces South because you've, uh, you've, uh, you've got three aces yourself. But in any case, um, you should probably end up in six no trump. And if we look at the traveler for this hand, we'll see that that's where nearly everyone played it. Nearly everyone played this hand in six no trump, um, but I'm sorry to say only one person made it, okay? Um, if you look at the little uh, matrix here, you'll see it should, it is a makeable contract. Um, so let's have a look at how that was played. Do interrupt me if you have any questions about these hands. And I'm going to look at this being played a couple of different ways. This is actually two ways it was played. Um, the first one going down and the second one making it. So by whatever means, let's suppose you reach six no trump, which most people did. And let's suppose your opponents leave a spade, the eight of spades. Have a little count and tell me how many top tricks you've got. Count all the suits and unmute yourselves and, and tell me how many top tricks you have. 11. It's 11, isn't it? It's four spades, two hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs. So you have 11 top tricks there. Okay? You all happy with that? Now, where can you make more tricks? I think there's two possibilities here. Which, what are the two suits where you could make more tricks? Yes. Diamond. Diamonds or heart, isn't Hearts. it? Yeah. And diamonds actually provides you a possibility of... Okay, again, if you if you're, uh, unmute yourselves, please keep the volume to a minimum, uh, or rather don't unmute yourselves unless you have a, a good reason to. Okay, just muting you all again. So please uh, <coughs> don't unmute yourselves. Uh, just for some background noise. Um, so as I was saying, um, Diamonds actually provides uh, a good opportunity because, think about it for a minute, you've got seven diamonds between you and Dummy. Uh, that means your opponents have got six. 
And if the diamonds were to divide evenly, you would be able to make all five diamonds. Do you see that? So if you could make all five diamonds, you could actually make 13 tricks on this hand. And that's going to be our best choice. So this is the way it was um, played this time. It was generally played in a similar way on most of the hands, except for the ones who, who one person who made six no trump. Um, so you can win the first trick. Um, here they played another spade, and then they started on diamonds. And as you play the diamonds, of course, you're going to watch what the opponents play and see how the diamonds divide. So you play two rounds. That's eight diamonds gone. And now you play another diamond and you're hoping the missing two diamonds will fall on this. Unfortunately, they don't. So there's still one diamond out. Okay. And most declarers at this point then turn their attention to other suits. Um, here they started in hearts. They played uh, the king. They played a heart here. They didn't finesse, so you know that wasn't optimal, although the finesse wouldn't have worked on this occasion. So they took that. They took their um, uh, spade, and they're, they're sort of really just cashing their top tricks, if you like. Let me just bring up the, uh, the four hands here. And just see how it how it went on this occasion. So they they're catching their tricks. They played another um, spade, and actually East here gave them an opportunity to make the slam because East discarded a club. And now, when the clubs are played, um, South can win the ace, win the king, and actually. South's last club is good. And if they just played the last club, they would have made the contract. Unfortunately, they didn't, and they played a diamond. And, you know, they even if you don't, even if you're not keeping track of the clubs, you should have been keeping track of the diamonds, because that was a suit of interest to you. Um, but unfortunately, they played a diamond, the opponents won that one, and they cashed a spade. So it was down one on that one. Um, so a little unlikely, but um, South had a chance to win a third trick with the club because he's discarded all those um, clubs on his hand. Any questions on that one? So I believe this contract is actually um, quite an easy one to make. And um, this is the one time it was made. I haven't, I've left George's name on there so he can because he played it very well. Um, they ended up in 6 no trump again. This time they led a club. Uh, De Clara played the ace, the king, and when they played the queen, they discover the 4-2 um, the, the break. But the contract is easy to make now because you've still got stoppers in all the other suits, and all you need to do is force out the jack of diamonds. And when you regain the lead you can cash another diamond. So it's just really an example of establishing um, a trick. So after this, they took their club, they took their spades and their last heart. So uh, it should, should, everyone really should have made 12 tricks on that one. And it's just a matter of establishing the extra diamond. So you, you Establishment, another way of thinking of it, is you're giving up a trick in order to gain a trick or one or more trick in return. And that's what you do here. You give up a diamond so that you can win a diamond back to make your 12 tricks. Any comments or questions on that? I was trying to figure out why, so, uh, why only one person made that. And I suppose people just sort of dismissed the diamonds. They took their ace, king, queen, and then thought, oh, well, do something else now. I didn't realize that their nine of seven, nine and seven of diamonds, were valuable and could guarantee the contract. Anyone have any comments or questions on that one? The other one I wanted to um, look at was board 10, which was similar, um, although a little more difficult, oddly enough. Um, so, 
This was board 10, and this was the recommended bidding on it. One heart, South has got a balanced hand with 17 points, opens one heart. Your partner bids two clubs, and then with 17 to 19 points, you should uh, jump to three no trump. Um, not that many people were in three no trump. Others were in different contracts. Um, and most were going down in whatever they were in. Uh, one person, well, a couple of people made four hearts. Uh, one person made three no trump, but otherwise it was generally um, going down. Although, um, according to the computer analysis, three no trump is a makeable game. It's the only makeable game, three no trump. So let's have a look at this uh, again and see how it, um, how it should have gone. I'm just going to look at this being played one time here. Um, and I wanted to talk about the bidding on this as well, because um, this is how um, it was played by Kalpana. One heart, two clubs, three no trump. And that's how in, in normal Ackle bidding you show uh, a balanced hand with 17 to 19 points if your partner bids at the two level. Um, it's slightly awkward in the sense that if you bid one heart and your partner bids two clubs it's still possible that you might have a fit in spades um, the problem is if you in response to two clubs if you now bid two spades you're suggesting that you had five hearts and four spades because you're bidding two suits you're suggesting a hand with uh, five hearts and four spades so Maybe that's how some people ended up playing in a heart contract. Um, it is, in, in standard bidding, what you should do with this hand is, is jump to three no trump. But it is a slightly clumsy bid in that it takes up a lot of bidding space. And some people recommend that you don't rebid three no trump on a hand like this, that you always rebid two no trump. And that would make it more possible for you to find a spade fit if you had one. In other words, they changed the range of the, uh, the, the rebid here of the two no trump from 15 to 16 to 15 to 19. So, um, sorry if I'm looking, sorry, I'm looking at this, um, uh, this section of the bidding sheet where you open with a balance hand, if partner bid a suit at the two level, they put all these together and always rebid two no trump with this hand. And that would make it um, possible for, sorry, that would make it possible for after two no trump for your partner then to show their second suit and you might end up in spades on that one. But if you're not doing that, then three no trump is a normal bid and that, that's where I would have expected it to end up. Okay. Anyone got any questions on that so far? So uh, if you did end up in three no trump, let's suppose the opponent's lead a spade. And take a minute again and tell me how many top tricks you've got. Do you unmute can yourself? You, Sorry? Tony can, you, Tony, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm Shobha. I didn't understand this. Uh, after one heart, you said two clubs, and you said it means uh, you're showing. Uh, I thought I'm showing. Uh, five clubs with uh, uh, 10 to 12 points. So the, that's not correct. Two, two clubs shows four or more clubs with at least 10 points. Okay. And then South finds a rebid of three no trump to show a balanced hand, which here shows uh, uh, 17 to 19 points. Okay. okay. So to, to, uh, what's the answer to my question? How many top tricks have you got Eight. here? Eight. Eight. Yeah, you've got three spades, one heart, one diamond, and three clubs. Eight top tricks. And the situation is similar to the last hand in that if you're lucky and the clubs divide evenly, you could take all the clubs, couldn't you? You've got, if they were to divide three, three, you could take all the clubs. But most of the time when you're missing six cards they won't divide three three and 
But nonetheless, you can make the ninth trick in clubs as long as they divide 4-2. Uh, so the, that's where you're going to make the extra trick here in clubs, and you're hoping that they either divide 3-3 three, three or 4-2. And what you have to do on this hand is realize that you are very short of entries to the north hand. The north hand is, uh, has got very few entries, so you must be careful at trick one. And what you mustn't do is win this in dummy. Normally we win in the short hand because it makes our life easy, but here we've got to preserve the king of spades, and what we've got to do is um, win with, with one of the spades in our own hand. So this is how Cal Palmer played it, which was very well played took the queen of spades and then started on clubs. Now when you're playing clubs, of course, you do win in the short hand. King first, play another club over to the ace, and then you play the queen. And if you're lucky, all the clubs divide. They don't on this occasion, but you can still make one more trick by playing another club. So you have to give up a trick here to establish a trick in clubs. East wins, but you still have the king of spades, so you can get to the seven of clubs. Uh, here, East played a diamond, which declare a one, now crossed over to the king of spades, took the seven of clubs, and then they can get back to their hand with uh, the ace of hearts, and they took their ace of spades. And I think it was just uh, nine tricks they made on this one. Okay, but that was very well played. And as I said, very few people were in the right contract of uh, three no Trump, I say, or um, and didn't make it. So this one's a little bit harder than the other one, but it's the same idea. You need to establish a club suit, uh, but you need to also think about your entries so that you can take a fourth club trick. Any questions on that? I hope you're all there. Now, what about this one? Um, suppose a uh, similar hand, you've got one spade, two clubs, three no trump, and they lead the queen of diamonds. And again, I'd like you to tell me how many top tricks you've got here. It's eight. It's eight, eight again. Eight. Is, is the answer for eight all evening? Uh, so, yeah, you have eight top tricks. You've got uh, two spades, one heart, two diamonds, and three clubs. And probably the only good chance, or certainly the best chance, is in clubs. That you want to make, uh, uh, you might make another spade as well, I suppose. But clubs look like the best chance. And the problem on this hand is that you have no entries outside of the club suit to the north hand. So there are two ways of playing this. You can either hope that the missing clubs divide 3-3. Three, three. If they do, you'll be able to make all five club tricks. Or you can try and cater for a 4-2 break in clubs. And in that case, to make four tricks, you will have to lose a club. And you have to lose that club early, don't you? Now... Which, which should you do on this hand? Well, what basically, every, if you have this hand a number of times, in the long run, it's, you're likely to get the 4-2 breaking clubs more often than the 3-3. So in the long run, you should play for a 4-2 break by giving up a club um, so that you can make an extra club. And it gives up the chance to make five clubs. But nonetheless, it is the right play um, because it will otherwise you will only make three clubs if you just take the ace, king, queen. So the way to um, make this contract, give yourself the best chance, you can win the first trick, and then you need to play uh, a low club and let them win it. Okay, you need to let them win that first club. Okay, you'll see that now, whatever they play. If they come back, you can win that one, 
And now you play the rest of the clubs. You play the ace, the king, and the queen. And as long as they divide 4-2 or better, you've got another trick with your last club. Okay? Then you'll uh, make your hearts, your spades. Depends what they discard. You may even end up with an extra trick somewhere here. Um, so here... They discarded spades, so or, or the spades divided evenly, and you were able to make one more trick. So you actually can make eleven tricks on this one. Um, yeah, what what happened was, so if we go back, if we look at it from the defense's point of view, you you made the extra trick because when you cast your let's go as we're cashing the clubs, as you cash the clubs, East has some discarding problems on this hand, and they might decide to discard spades rather than try and keep the hearts. And if they do discard two spades, uh, especially if you're watching, you can then, I hope you can see that now you'll be able to make all four spades because East discarded poorly. East did make a mistake in discarding spades here because they started with four spades and South had opened with one spade. So E should be keeping length with declarer's suit there, and should probably discard the hearts and keep the spades. Any questions on that? So I hope you can see, um, you know, to make the extra trick, you need to lose uh, lose a club there. Let's try another one. Um, here, South opens one no trump, and that's passed out. Now, South actually here has got a five card spade suit. But it's a very poor suit. So normally, um, if it's a good suit, I would prefer to open one of a major, a good five-card major. But with a very poor suit like this, maybe treat the hand as balanced and just bid one no trump. The problem with opening one spade on this hand is that if, for example, your partner then responds two clubs, let's say, you have no real option but to rebid your spades, two spades. And it's a very poor suit. So one no trump is a much better bid there, I think. And your partner passes and the opponent's lead a heart. So let's take a minute and as usual in no trump, see if you can count how many top tricks you've got here. It's not eight. How many top tricks have you got? Four. It's just four, four isn't it? Two just hearts, a, a diamond and a club. Now, obviously we're hoping to make more in clubs here. Um, the problem is we have very few entries to the north hand. Now, there are different ways you could play this. You could win this one in dummy and try the club finesse. The problem is that you then won't have any entries to get back to the north hand. It's much better on this hand to give up on the finesse. You can only do it once anyway, even if it succeeds and keep your king of hearts as an entry. So the way I'm going to play this is win the ace of hearts and then give up on the club to this. I'm just going to play the ace, okay? And I'm planning to use my king of hearts so that I can get to dummy to run the remaining club. So I'm going to play the jack here. And what should I play from dummy here? It's actually quite important to overtake here. You can see according to um, the software here, it's saying that to make this contract, you must overtake that with a queen. If you play low here, you could be defeated by two tricks because you may never get to, uh, to dummy. In other words, if I, if I win with a jack, then the only way to get to dummy now is um, with a king of hearts, but the clubs may not be set up yet. So very important to overtake there. East will probably win the king of clubs here. Um, and East might well decide to take some, try to take some spades here because he can see that weakness in dummy and he might well try some spades. If he, if he leads a, a spade to his partner's king, they can play a spade back to your ace, the queen, and Again, um, East might be tempted to cash the jack, um, 
But if he's watching what everyone's got left in spades, he should realize that playing the jack of spades will actually help declare a, uh, help establish a spade for declarer. In other words, if I click on GIB here, it's saying that declarer can make the contract, but will make an over trick if I play a spade. So it's actually best not to carry on with another spade, um, but to switch to another suit. If you switch to a diamond, declarer can win that. Now cross over to the King of Hearts and finally take your last clubs that you've set up. Okay, probably not going to win any more after this, uh, but you'd make your seven tricks. Any questions or comments on that one? So all again, it's a, it's a combination of establishing suits and maintaining your entries. So those two things very often go together. Let's try um, one more. Um, here your partner's opened two diamonds. Uh, that's a weak two. And South, you've got a lot of points. Um, and I think you may well go for three no trump on this hand. And let's suppose they lead a spade. Again, see if you can tell me how many top tricks you've got on this hand. Seven. You got seven. Two spades, one heart, two diamonds, and two clubs. And um, where are you going to make some more tricks? What's your best option to make more tricks on this hand? And I like to... Diamonds. Diamonds is, is really the better option. You might make more in clubs, but you have more diamonds. And what you need to do in diamonds is think about the likely break. You've got eight diamonds between you and dummy. That means your opponents have got five and we need to try to cater for uh, at least the three two distribution. And if they are divided three two, I hope you can see you've got to lose a diamond. Okay, so to cater to the three two distribution, you need to lose a diamond and like before you need to lose it early. Because if you just cash the ace king, you'll then never be able to get to take all those nice diamonds. So let's win the first trick and let's play a diamond. And we're just planning to lose, lose this one. We could play the 10, um, but we must have played the, uh, the ace or the king there. So we play the 10, you lose that trick. We expect to lose it. If they play a spade back, we now play another diamond. And if that wins, we now know the diamonds are established. Eight diamonds have gone. There are four in dummy, so there's just one high diamond out. And we can just uh, take it from our king and cash our remaining diamonds. Okay, so we're going to make some over tricks, I think, here. Um, and probably lose the last two tricks there, but we'll make 10 tricks on that one. Okay. Any comments no. or questions? But what happens if uh, East does not win the diamond in the first trick? Right. Um, so if well, that, that would be okay. okay. Hmm. That would be okay. Um, I mean, if, if they divide like this, or, or, or and you play the 10, if, he, if East doesn't win the jack, you mean? Yeah, he may yeah. Go, he may he may not win it by. Yeah, well, that then you're going to make all the diamonds, aren't you? Do you see that? If if yeah, he doesn't okay. if he doesn't play the so the computer saying that you can make one over trick, but you make two over tricks if he doesn't win it, so it doesn't do him any good. All right, there's a slight yeah yeah in no finish this one. I want to go over the previous one. All right. Well, let me finish this one. There, well, that, this is a slight variant of um, the previous one. Um, and just very similar, but you've got slightly better cards here. And let's actually look at this from West point of view, where you lead a spade, declare a wins that one, and leads the jack of diamonds. What should you play as West here? Higher of diamonds. Queen. Queen. 
Well, what's going to what what's going to happen if you if you don't play your queen? Declarer can win this with the jack. Yeah. So so declarer played the jack, and if you were to play low, declarer can win the jack. He wasn't expecting to win that, and then you won't make will make any diamonds. So it's actually right to play your queen there. And if you do play the queen, what should declare a play from dummy? Three. Three. Yeah. You have to let it go. You have to resist the urge to beat the uh, beat the queen because if you if you do, you'll be defeated. You the the best West can do is play the queen, and you've got to let them have it. You've got to let them win that one. You can't. Don't be tempted to uh, take that. So just play low, and then whatever they play. You can get back in and catch your diamonds at the end, just like you did before. Okay, so again, you'll make uh, at least I think ten tricks on this hand. Let's go through it. Yeah, ten ten tricks again. Okay, but um, yeah. so yeah, so, so someone wants to ask you a question about the previous yeah. hand. Uh, in the previous hand, when you overtook Jack with mm. Queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, can you go over that again, please? Yeah, yeah, okay. So we they leave the Queen of Hearts. We we cash the Ace, and now when we play the Jack, we we have to overtake. Um, if we if we don't overtake it, um, in other words, if we play low here, so if if instead of following the compute the way it was set up, if I change it to to play low. Now we're in trouble because if East lets you win that, now you have a problem because you have not set up the clubs yet and the lead's in your hand. All you can do now is go over to Dummy with your King of Hearts, but you won't be able to make any clubs. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. 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 Thank you. So it's very important there to, uh, to overtake and, not, and not, to, not to try any finesse. I mean, as you can see on this um, on this hand, the if we uh, sorry, let's just reload this. If we can, if we look at the four hands, you can actually hear here the club finesse um, would succeed in the sense that the king is in on the right side. But unless you know, your only way of making this is if you if if the, you you lead from dummy, they play the king, and you take it with the ace, and then you can get back to dummy. But if they don't take, if they don't play their king, then you're you're done for. So you've got to give up on the finesse and just keep your king of hearts as an entry. There. So Tony, sorry, the way you played it, you played the ace of clubs. Yes. And then the jack, and then put the queen on. Yes. So East can also pass the queen and keep the king. Yes. So your clubs aren't set up. No, we're fine. So so if if they. If they if, if they let that one go, yeah, still got the king. Yeah, we're fine, but we, we we've got the lead in dummy now, so we oh. can now play another yeah. club. So we just okay. play another one. Yeah, yeah. Just play another right. club. Yeah, so it it does work. Okay, good. But that's a good question. Anyone else have any questions? Um, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen with you, and just ask um, if there's anyone who needs a partner here. So unmute yourselves. I'm just